So you'll notice today that I am here by myself. Um, Antoine is not here unfortunately because he is working overtime. So I've kind of taken hold of this episode and I've kind of directed it by myself which is like very exciting. So we're talking about what's in our bags and when we go out to do astrophotography we take two backpacks with us. And I'll discuss both of them in just a second starting with this one. I'll also be going over the equipment that we take with us in the backpacks when we go on our outings for astrophotography. And we should have a written text version available in the description below as well as some links to the backpacks that we use just in case you guys are looking for yourselves. Now then, we take two backpacks when we go out with us. backpack I lovingly call the heavy duty backpack. It is actually a rugged um, brand. The model is Outrigger 65. It is a DSLR backpack. It has a lot of compartments on, on the inside which I'll show you in a second. It has six zippers and two side pockets with hook and loop patches for extra security. So we don't use the side pockets often, however we do use a lot of the zippers. This one for example is where we keep our iPad and it's quite roomy in there for when we need to connect to the ASI Air, which we can do from the comfort of our car, especially when it's too cold outside. And the iPad in this pocket, we bring it with us because it's very useful when we're guiding or if we need to check Sky Safari. Now for the inside of the backpack. Here, we have a lot of stuff. So I'll speak about that top compartment in particular. We have our ZWO filter wheel and this lunch bag. Now, the EFW is a ZWO brand. EFW means electronic filter wheel and I just learned that. Again, it's super duper nice that the inside of this rugger bag is like felty. You'll see here that it's like, it's very soft. So anything that you put in there is going to be cushioned. They're also quite stiff. Here we have our Pegasus Astro Power Box and it has like all the, all the cables attached to it. But for us, it's just easier to just take it out as it is. Um, I believe if you haven't seen our video, I think we can like put it somewhere around here, but um, so the cigarette lighter attaches to the jumper cables I just talked about and it powers up into this Pegasus Astro power box and then it all it disperses power to everything in our mount and our setup. In this compartment we have our guiding camera. Again, a lot of wires. Um, we have two things coming out of it. This is also a ZWO brand. It is a ASI 290mm Mini. So we used to have a guiding camera, <clears throat> which we still bring with us on our outings, but um, this one is much smaller and I, I'm guessing that it works much better since we've upgraded our equipment and we keep it here in our heavy duty backpack. In this compartment we have extra cables. This is our compartment where we keep extra other extra cables that attach to the ASI Air. And I believe we've spoken about the ASI Air as well. We have our MVP of all of our things. Again, the heavy duty backpack carries our more valuable items. And this here is our CMOS camera, also ZWO brand. Very nice. And here is where everything connects to it and the cover. And gently put that, gently put that back away. <laughs> and that is it for our heavy duty backpack. Is our second backpack which I call the goods because it has a lot of our 
small yet important items as well inside of it. Um, we have a lot of different kinds of compartments. A lot of zippers. I know I mentioned there was a lot of zippers in the last one. But um, under this flap here is two zippers. One of which is where we keep several screwdrivers because you never know if you need to have maintenance. But I believe one of them is what we use to tighten the telescope when we're trying to align it with the laser. And extra batteries, of course. This zipper in particular on the bottom is super useful. We can open this bottom without having any of the rest of the backpack be affected by it. And this is also where we keep the camera. So in this flap, you see here this shape. This is where the camera would go. Obviously, I'm using it right now. And this is where we would put the baby boom, which is attached to the camera right now. When we're not using it, we do stick it back in this bag. But we take it with us sometimes, even when we're not recording, for just in case, because that's what we do, just in case. And um, on the bottom of where the baby boom is are like so many uh, ba camera batteries. And if you know anything about taking photos, you need so many camera batteries. In this middle pocket, we have our comma corrector and this adapter. It helps eliminate chromatic aberrations on the images that we take. And on this pocket, we have hand warmers. And I know it's summer, and I know it's like really hot, and we have like absolutely no use for this, but, get, but again, we bring these for just in case. Most of the time we use them for the winter because it gets very, very chilly outside. So we keep them in here regardless, no matter what season it is. And the last one that we have here is going to be our intervalometer. There are several little batteries in there as well. This is for the DSLR camera. And if you enjoy taking time lapses, this is probably really useful for you. Uh, we use it when we're not using our camera for just a case. Um, you can basically put a duration and how many times you want it to take the images or how many intervals you'd like to take the images. So I definitely invest in this if you're into time lapses and we bring it with us all the time anyway, just in case we feel like we want to do time lapses. So inside of this front zipper pocket is where we keep our controller for our mount, as well as several other cables that we use to attach to the mount. So here in this zipper pouch, we have our flashlight, a lot of eyepieces, doodads, a tiny tripod for just in case, and our collimator which is the laser collimator. Definitely want to close this one because you don't want any of this stuff to fall out because it's our important small stuff. And then also on the side of here, which I've mentioned before, this is a laptop compartment and it's very useful to us um, when we want to bring our laptop. However, uh, as of late, since we've updated our equipment, we now use our iPad to connect to the ASI Air, which connects to the mount. We don't really have a use for the laptop, but you know, we bring it with us just in case for funsies, because again, you never know, just in case. And that, I believe, is it for the Low Pro The Goods backpack. So that's it for what's in my bag, or what's in our bags. So we think that we that you guys only really need about two backpacks to carry any of your smaller items. So hopefully this provided some insight and maybe you might want to add some things to your setup. So if you have any, like, any questions, any comments, you can definitely leave those. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed my narration today. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.